<clears throat> okay, an average of 74 reports with bird counts were turned in each day in June. An average of 89 were turned in each day in July. How many reports were turned in for both months? Hint, there are 30 days in June and 31 days in July. So what I need to be doing is figuring out what the problem is for June. And I'm going to look back here. There was 74 reports in June and 89 reports in July. Okay. So I know that for June I'm going to need 74 times 30 days in June. And then for July, I'm going to need to do 89 times 31 days in July. So 74 times 30, I'm going to do my work right here. 74 times 30. <clears throat> 30 times 4 is 120. 3 times 7 is 21. <clears throat> Plus 1 is 22. So this one equals 2,220. Okay, the next one is 89 times 31. 89 times 31. 1 times 89 is 89. 30 times 9 is 270. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 2 more is 26. And then I add those. So 275, 2,759. Okay. And the question, I'm going to go back and find out what the, what the question was. How many, report, how many reports were turned in for both months? So I'm going to need to add those two months together. So I already have 2,759 here. I'm just going to add the 220 for June. And I have 4,700, 4,000. 979. Okay, that's number one. Number two, what if, it, what if an average of 98 reports were turned in each day, a lot of you were missing this, for the month of June? How many days were in June? It says right up here, there was 30. How many reports were turned in for June? Describe how your answer for June would be different. All right, so what if the average reports for um, 98 times 30. So 98 times 30. 38 times, I mean, sorry, 30 times 8 is 240. 3 times 9 is 27, 28, 29. Okay. And then, so that explains, I mean, that tells you how many would be turned in for June if the average reports were 98 and then it says describe how your answer for June would be different so in this case it was 74 for June and in this case it's 98 for June so you would explain why that's different All right on number three each day of Maggie's bird watching trips she has seen at least 24 birds if she has taken four of these trips each year over the past 16 years at least how many birds has Maggie seen? Okay, so first I want to think about how many birds she's seen each year. So let's see. She has seen at least 24 birds on each of her trips, and she takes four trips each year. So the first thing I'm going to do is find out how much she sees each year. Four times four is 16. Four times two is eight, plus one more is 96. So each year she sees 96 birds. If she does this over the every 16, for 16 years, how many birds has she seen at least? Now I'm going to multiply 96 times 16. Six times six is 36. Six times nine is 54, plus three more is 57. And then 10 times 96 is 960. Six. 1536. At least, she has seen at least 1536 birds. Okay, 1536 that is. Okay, and then the next one. Each of five bird watchers reported seeing 15 
rose spoonbills in a day. If they each reported seeing the same number of spoonbills over 14 days, how many would be reported? So five bird watchers each see 15 per day. So I'm going to find out the total number of birds they see per day. So I have 15 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 1 is 5 plus that is 75. So they're seeing a total, all five people are seeing a total of 75 birds per day. If they each report seeing the same number over 14 days, how many would be reported? So now I'm going to multiply this by 14. <clears throat> 4 times 5 is 20, 4 times 7 is 28, plus 2 more is 30, and 10 times 75 is 750, which is 1,050. Okay? Oh, I guess I should write that in. So 1,050 spoonbill birds, you would fill that in. Okay, number 5. There are 12 inches in a foot in there are 12 inches in a foot in September Mrs. Harris that's me orders 32 feet of ribbon for the crafts club in January she ordered nine fewer feet how many inches of ribbon does Mrs. Harris order okay so she orders 12 inches times the 32 feet I'm just going to do that up here so 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and 10 times 32 is 320. So that one's 384 that she orders in September. In January, she orders 9 fewer feet. Now she ordered 32 feet here. So 9 fewer than 32 is 32 minus 9, which equals 23. So in January, she's only ordering 23 feet times the inches, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4, and one, 10 times 23 is 230. So 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 2. Okay, so now this is how much she ordered in, sept in January. This is how much she ordered in September. To find out the total, I'm just going to add those two. I'm just going to do it right here. 384 and 276 because we're looking for the total, and our total is 660. All right, now it's Lydia's turn. She's in our class. Lydia is having a party on Saturday. She decides, she decides to write a riddle on her invitation to describe her house number. Use the clues over here to find her address. Okay, so my address is a five-digit number, so we know I'm going to put the comma. The tens digit is five less than seven. So this, we know it's going to be like that. So the tens digit is five less than seven. So here's the tens digit. Five less than seven is a two. Seven minus five. The thousands digit, which would be here, is twice the digit in the tens place. So this is two. Twice the digit is going to be four. The hundreds digit which is here, is the greatest even number that is less than 10. So the greatest even number that's less than 10 would be 8 because the next number would be 9 and that's not an even number. So that's an 8. The ones digit is the product of 7 and 1. A lot of you were doing the sum of 7 and 1, which would be 8. But the product means multiply 7 times 1, and that is 7. The ten thousands digit is the difference between the hundreds digit and the ones digit, which is eight minus seven, which would be one. So our number is one fourteen thousand eight hundred and twenty-seven. <clears throat> Nationwide participants in the two thousand eight Great Backyard Bird Count reported seeing seven hundred seventy-eight thousand eight hundred and seventy-one Canada geese and 363,321 American crows. How many more Canada geese were seen than American crows? Most of you did this one okay because it's subtracting. Make sure you're lining up your place values. 
So we're going to subtract. 1 minus 1 is 0. 7 minus 2 is 5. 8 minus 3 is 5. 8 minus 3 again is 5. 7 minus 6 is 1. And 7 minus 3 is 4. So it should be 415,550. All right, and the last one. Carol is the tre treasurer of her bird watching club. The club wants to order shirts for each of the 18 members. If the shirts cost $21, what is the cost for the member's shirts? So we're going to multiply the price of the shirt, 21, times the number of members. I'm going to do this first. 18 times 21. So 1 times 18 is 18. 20 times 8 is 160. Regroup that. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. I'm going to add those. And I get 378, so it's B. Okay, now good luck doing your homework on your own.